Hi, my name is Camila Elsa Rodriguez Miranda. Well, there is no doubt that social media consumes some of our time, if not the majority of it. But are they, they tearing us apart from what really matters? Relationships, our health, or even ourselves? Well, first I'm going to talk about my experience. Um, I have a cousin that lives in Mexico City and she sometimes comes to visit me. But when she visits me, I want to hang out with her, but instead of that, she starts um, checking their social media or talking with her friend. So I, in that time, um, I talk my cell phone too. And I realized that sometimes social media separates us from things that are more important, like our family. Who are Generation C? Well, it's a generation of people born in the late 1990s and early 2000s. They are also known as Gen Z and Los Angeles Times, American Psychological Association, the Harvard Business Review, the Wall Street Journal, among others, do strongly believe to be so in their generation, which began in 1997. They are a true digital natives and uh, they spend more than, the, than 10 hours per day in their cell phones and they receive more than 3,000 of messages um, a month. And with this information, I decided to do a survey um, with, that was answered by 48 students between the ages of 11 and 18. So um, when asked how many hours they spend with family and friends throughout the week, the majority, which was 41.7, it was between 3 through 6 hours um, of quality time with their friends and family. Um, when asked them how many hours throughout the week they spend in their social accounts, the majority, which was 39.6%, confess that they spend more than 10 through 12 hours uh, throughout the week. A research done by a center called Addiction Center revealed that Generation C are identified as the longest generation and social media is thought to be the main contributing factor of such loneliness. Also, they believe that because of people being able to choose what to show and what not, a prior version, I would say, it's more difficult to make real connections. So, so but what? Social media accounts create an environment for fake interactions and that provides superficial connection rather than the actual meaningful connections that face-to-face -face interactions provide. Therefore, what does that hold for any future relationship, whether it be romantically, professionally, or simply just any type of relationship? Well, they reveal that 43% to in five Americans sometimes or always feel isolated from others and that their relationships are not meaningful. Only 27% one in four Americans rarely or never feel that there are people who really understand and connect with them. Well, the Harvard Women's Health Watch reported that dozens of studies have shown that people who have satisfying relationships with family, friends, and their community um, are happier, have fewer um, health problems, and live longer. An article found in the New York Times um, stated that people who are chronically lacking in social contacts are more likely to experience um, high levels of stress and inflammation, which can diminish the well-being of nearly every body system, including the brain. Therefore, if Generation C continues surviving throughout the week with basically their social accounts and making time with their friends and loved ones, are they really surviving or are they heading towards the inevitable? And missing out what, what really matters, the relationship which is which is then connected to their health and their well-being. Well, um, I'm missing some ideas to help students um, get what they really need, their family, and create um, new interactions. Um, one, of, uh, one of these things, ideas, is to choose a day to uh, technology free and like um, iPads, cell phones, laptops, etc. Um, so, 
um, make this rule a for all. The whole family have everyone challenge themselves to engage with each other in more personal ways. If you believe you social media use um, borders of addiction, or if you don't feel strong enough to resist the urge, you can um, found an app to block uh, your social media, so it's, it could be more easy to you. Um, there's other apps like Facebook Eradicator that uh, denies that silence your news feed entirely and help you slowly the program you need to read. So we also can deny its unfortunate impact on our social skills, making us lay communicators and disrupting our need to form meaningful conversations. Hopefully with these ideas many of you can start change in your daily life.